Hey guys, so probably not a video that you would expect, but I am buying Fallout, which will be the first set I am purchasing for a very, very long time. As many of you know, I've been on the boycott of new product. Still a huge fan of the reserve list. I think the reserve list is... Now let me be specific. I think some of the reserve lists, like dual lands, moxes, and so on... A dual land is a dual land, right? I mean, it's, uh, what can you say? It, it's the premier card. Uh, moxes are boxes. The Lotus is a Lotus, right? These are cards that you look for your entire life. So Fallout is very exciting. So I did play Fallout, and it is a great IP. So let me just get that out of the way. It is a fantastic IP. It has a lot of the feelings I had about Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings did incredibly well. Uh, it at Universe Beyond, I will admit, I don't love the idea, but it depends on what universe, right? If they did the universe of Power Rangers or you know something like that, or Beast Wars or Transformers, they did Transformers kind of, right? Then yeah, it, it all depends on the IP. If the IP is really great and the IP is crushing it, then what can you say? So Fallout is a huge IP, and they have a lot of, you know, we're looking at the Commander decks. The Commander decks will sell out very well. The Collector Booster Box, I think, has a premium on it. I don't know. You know it's, it's one of these weird things where Universe Beyond performs better than every other set. Uh, would I rather buy this than Murders of, what is it called, Carvo Manor? Yeah, Absolutely. Would I rather buy this than over return, 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 return to Ravnica? Ravnica Remastered? Yeah, absolutely. This is a completely... Now, again, some of the cards are reprint cards with different artwork. But it is a completely different set. So I do think there is more creativity in this set than there is in a Ravnica Remastered, which I appreciate. Prices are getting insane. Actually, a subscriber sent me a video about... Open Boosters. Uh, Open Boosters is this way over magic guy. He's uh, in in a sense of money. <laughs> in a sense of money. And he opens, you know, Black Lotus and stuff. And his order for Fallout got canceled. And uh, he hasn't mentioned the store, I believe, but he's upset. I was I was saying that like Open Boosters is kind of a big name. If he wanted to call out that store, he could really damage that store and their reputation. But I know why the store did it. The store did it because there's money in the set. So this might be just Magic the Gathering. You sell the Carvel Manors and around the cover Remastered just to build up a good relationship to get this set. Now you might be like, am I buying? Yeah, I'm buying. My friend, uh, the individual who ordered $67,000 of Lord of the Rings, chasing the 101 ring, uh, he's <laughs> into Fallout too, And he's already uh, put down a deposit. And, uh, and this was... I didn't want to make the video until I got confirmation because I didn't like again want to screw up his deal. But yeah, he's got about 40, 42, 38, 39, something like that uh, of collector's editions. He's obviously got the 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 commander decks, uh, and he moved into a bigger home now, so he can collect more. He says, "I haven't actually I've seen his home from pictures, but I actually haven't been there." He just moved in like a, what was it, Monday. He just moved in Monday. So, yep, uh, should be fun to see his new home. He's going to build out a magic store for himself, uh, which is basically what we have a distributor for. So, like, this distributor, this is how I, I view this, and a lot of people are going to find this uh, controversial. You buy the bad sets, you can buy the good sets. If you're buying from somebody online... Don't buy the bad sets, only buy the good sets. But if you're buying from your distributor, you play this game. And the game is, okay, we'll buy some of this shitty set, and we'll buy some of this shitty set, but when a good set like Fallout or Lord of the Rings comes, I expect you to hook me up. That is exactly what our distributor did, and I'm very glad. I, I honestly didn't think that the deal would go through. I'm making this video, and um, the deal obviously did go through. So in terms of what is happening, uh, I will say that uh, 
this is the set of the year. I think this is the set that Wizards makes its money on. Uh, everything, in my opinion, is going to the moon on this set. Uh, I, I, I just kind of weird. The website has like select a retailer and then they only have Best Buy. <laughs> so it's weird. I was not expecting Best Buy. I thought it would be like Walmart or something or Target. But mother effing, it was Best Buy. It was mother effing Best Buy. So back to my original statements and really what um, I can say about this, right, is a lot of the time a set sucks. It, it just sucks, man. A lot of the time a set sucks, right? But um, this set probably is good. Probably is good. Uh, I think this set is absolutely amazing. I think this set is really, really great. As in, maybe even investable uh, long term because of the IP. The IP is just... There is player base for this particular game. There is player base and there is interest for this particular game. And then the set. And anyone telling you to buy Martyrs or Carvel Manor instead of this set is crazy. Mother effing crazy. You see the prices, you see the game pieces, you see all the things. And at the end of the day, uh, I mean, I think Alpha Investment has Streets of New Campena, Dominator United, Brightest War, Frexion All Will Be One, March of the Machines, Wilds of the Aldrin. F those sets, man. Mergers are Carvalho Manor, right? Why, why not this set? Why not buy into this set, right? Like, you're like, oh, you're buying a high, blah, blah, blah. Nah, man, I'm getting it at discount. Like, I'm buying it from the, my, my distributor hooked us up. I honestly didn't think they would hook us up. It would have been acting kind of bad. We've not been, been buying the Murders Carvalho. We've been buying other shit, like Funkos, like other stuff that he wants to pawn off. And we've been buying a lot of Pokemon, which he wants to get rid of. Because Pokemon not doing so well right now. Um, oh, you know what I have been buying a lot of? We just bought another 71 pieces of... Squishmallows for my girlfriend. So we actually found a way to buy Squishmallows through the distributor. It was like, we had to talk to them. We had to talk to another guy. It was just whatever, right? But now we get Squishmallows. And that has obviously been quite expensive. I think, again, today we got in order. These are big Squish, too. Of uh, 71 Squishmallows. Like giant Squishmallows, right? And previously we had just <laughs> ordered... Um, 140 squish but they were like smaller squish so yeah we, the distributor is happy we're happy and we're getting this set for pennies on the dollar man now i made a mistake i thought the collector booster would not do well so i didn't put in an order so my friend ordered them and obviously he can hook me up if he wants to if he doesn't we haven't really discussed it yet this set is bonkers the best set it is the best set by far margin that I've seen since Lord of the Rings, right? The the one on one ring chase, if you will. The chase. What a set, man. What a mother effing set. I actually have a poster of Fallout in my room. So I, I do love Fallout. Not one of those homers, right? Anyway, bye guys.